And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... War in Robot Land. This is wonderful Zero Zero Island, Colonel Bleep's great headquarters here on Earth. Now, as twilight fades, the lights in Scratch's cave, Squeak's cozy cottage, and the Colonel's laboratory. Blink off for the night. Silently, the powerful radar scope scans the darkened skies, ready to signal the outbreak of trouble anywhere in space. There it is! Red alert! Red alert! Scramble! <laughs> Colonel Bleep, Squeak, and Scratch are off again, for there is terrible trouble indeed on the distant planet Robot Land. Here is a strange world of mechanical men, ruled by the master robot, Romax. From his closely guarded tower, Romax guides the movements of the robot workers below. In this giant factory, the mechanical men of Robot Land skillfully build the great machines needed for the peaceful progress of the universe. Disguised as a friendly robot, the wicked Dr. Destructo has entered the guarded tower. He pulls the switch of the master machine and instantly all work is stopped. Then quickly, with a mysterious power of his own, the evil doctor starts the robots again, working faster than ever before. But now, instead of building machines for peace, the factories rapidly grind out a deadly fleet of powerful space tanks, which Destructo plans to use to conquer the universe. Arriving at last, Colonel Bleep quickly orders Squeak and Scratch to dash for cover on the ground below, while Bleep prepares to face Destructo's mighty armada alone. Doctor orders the attack. The mighty colonel stands his ground. Now Destructo steps up the pace. A steady stream of the deadly robot weapons pours onto the firing line. of the master robot. Look, the cannon can still be fired. But what about ammunition? Oh, no! Scratch has volunteered to be a human cannonball. Ready? the switch. And the mighty Romax once again resumes command of Robot Land. Destructo's power is broken. Now the deadly stream of robot weapons zeroes in on the fleeing villain. And the wicked culprit scrambles for his very life. Once again, Colonel Bleep and his friends have saved the people of space from sure destruction. And while the brave Scratch may sometimes act a little dumb, 
This was one day when the caveman really used his hands.